What happens when it is Father's Day and your anniversary and summer and you're a record store collector, record collector, you, you, you buy too many. It's a problem. I'm working on it. You guys have seen this in the last few videos, right? I said I'm working on it. I'm going to work on it probably sometime. But I got like 10 or 11 to show you today and a couple more on the way, of course. So let's get started. I got to say last month going into this month, I've been having sort of a country renaissance. So I'm a country music fan as well as everything else. Uh, there's probably not a single type of music that I don't like. Um, but I go through spurts where I'm like, I need more of this kind of music right now. And so the one that I was feeling a lot this this uh, last couple of months, I've been feeling a lot of country music, wanting to get back to some country music. So one of the things I started with, and I bought this just a few days prior to Father's Day, is Zach Williams' 100 Highways. So Zach Williams is an artist that I'm re relatively new to. Um, he is kind of a Christian country artist. He fits in both worlds. Um, he does some great duets with Dolly Parton on both of his albums, which I'm going to talk about another one here in a few minutes. Um, he's got more than two albums, but the two that I've got anyway. Uh, the vinyl is this sort of silvery gray vinyl, um, and it is really good. Double LP. Um, it's, it's a little bit more on the mellow side of country and obviously a little bit more faith driven. Uh, but this album has some guest spots from... Uh, Walker Hayes, uh, Dolly Parton's on here again. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know if I can find them all quick enough. But some great songs on here, like a Billy Graham revival. Uh, there's a song called Jesus' Fault that's pretty good. Uh, so, very good album. I really recommend Zach Williams if you're into country, but maybe not always into some of the lyrical content. I mean, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. But uh, yeah, Zach Williams, really, really good. I uh, got a pre-order here that I, ha I placed a while back. Uh, Pedro the Lion. I love me some Pedro the Lion. Uh, right now he's doing like a four album set that's named after cities that he grew up in and kind of, it's sort of like a bi biography on record. Uh, so this is Santa Cruz and it's a kind of a forest green color, a single LP. Um, and this one's a real interesting one, I think. It's got some very different sounds on some of the songs on here. Some of the tracks we've got are It'll All Work Out, Santa Cruz, Little Help, Tall Pines, Don't Cry Now, Remembering, uh, Teacher's Pet, Parting, Modesto, Spend Time, and Only Yesterday. My favorite track on this album is Modesto, so I encourage you to check that out. But yeah, Pedro the Lion, uh, David Bazan, love, love the stuff that he puts out. So glad to get it. Now on Father's Day... One of the things I had been kind of craving, in addition to specifically country, is some old hymns. Um, we've been going through a, a challenging time uh, spiritually, and a church we attended for a long time has been in the news, and that's been kind of rough, and just wanting to get to like some old-time intimacy with the Lord without all the history and the, the all the stuff that we've been through, I guess, uh, you know, playing in on it. So for Father's Day, I got this awesome album. It's Carrie Underwood, My Savior. This is an album of hymns. Uh, there's about 10 on here. A lot, of, a lot of your favorites, if you like hymns, are on here. Let's see if I can even read this. The font is so light. Uh, Jesus loves me, nothing but the blood of Jesus. A blessed assurance, just as I am. Victory in Jesus. Great, uh, great is thy faithfulness, featuring C.C. Winans. Oh, how I love Jesus. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to read. My, my vision's not great, but um, this is a, on white vinyl um, and definitely a really great album. If you love hymns, this is a really great one to pick up. Uh, also a double LP, and that was my Father's Day gift. And on Father's Day, we went out, and when we went out, I picked up another Zach Williams album called Rescue Story. Um, so this is a really great album. Um, this one is more well known for the Dolly Parton song that's on here, which is uh, There Was Jesus, uh, which is a really beautiful song. Uh, Dolly on the CMA Awards, I think, either CMA or CMT, I don't know, there's like a lot of country awards and they all sound like they have the same name. Um, she did uh, like a three song Christian blend and There Was Jesus was on it, uh, white vinyl. 
Uh, so love this guy, love his his lyrics and, and his music. It really uh, hits a sweet spot for me. And then the fact that he's doing stuff with Dolly Parton are automatically a plus. Another album I was kind of wanting to pick up. I've been a fan of David Crowder Band for a long time. This particular album, Milk and Honey, I thought about buying about 10 different times. Um, and specifically, there's a song on here uh, called... Uh, God really loves us that he does with one of the dudes from Maverick City Music. Uh, I think it's Dante Bowie he's doing it with um, that I really, really love and was a song that kind of came out during COVID and meant a lot to me. Um, but so I've been waiting, hadn't got this forever and ever and ever and been looking at it and thinking about it and finally pulled the trigger. Um, there's a story behind Der David Crowder band um, that has meant a lot to me for a long time. Maybe I'll tell you one day. But uh, so I will probably always love David Crowder and David Crowder's music. Uh, also on white vinyl, double LP. Um, both of the Zach Williams, the Carrie Underwood, and the David Crowder band were all picked up at Mardell, uh, which is like a Christian store. Uh, they don't have a lot of vinyl, but the little bit they have is a lot of stuff that I like. So that's kind of cool. Um, all right, so next is Mutiny. So this is a ska core, like super uh, heavy ska band uh, with a really great sound. Um, uh, I've talked about them before, had them on the podcast, really encourage you to check that episode out. They're doing something really cool where, um, so first of all, this is a super group with ba band members from like uh, Voodoo Glow Skulls and Dissidente and, and other bands. Um, and they're doing something really cool where they're kind of telling a story through, uh, music and there's like manga. So I forgot to bring it in here, but there is sort of a manga to cover the prologue of this story. And this album is the prologue. It's a four song EP, but on the B side of this, they have the same four songs sung in Japanese by some friends from Japan. Um, and it just sounds killer, man. It really sounds good. I got this when I was over helping out Cool Chris from uh, Scott Punk International. We were packing up some stuff and shipping it out. And, um, and mine was ready to pick up. So I just picked it up instead of shipping it. So maybe one of my favorite albums that I picked up this month is one of my all-time favorite bands, The Decemberists. have a brand new album out. And this is called As It Ever Was, So It Will Be Again. Um, this is... If I pulled this out, I don't think I could show you even on camera to show you the quality, but the quality of the the case, the liner notes, every detail of this record was so meticulously picked to be the best quality, and it is beautiful. And of course, the artwork by Carson Ellis, who is an amazing artist, um, and the wife of the lead singer. Um, but this, you can't even really see it, but this is on, the, the color of vinyl is called wood. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it real clear but it's like a really rich brown try not to touch any of those grooves it's a really rich brown with like some black uh you know black grain in there um so really beautiful album i love this album the last track on this is like a 19 minute song called joan in the garden that i absolutely love so anyway i really recommend that you pick this up if you love like folky kind of music absolutely definitely want to pick up so then my wife and I, on Wednesday, June 19th, um, after a great day celebrating Juneteenth with our kids, um, we went to a concert that I was so glad to go to. My buddies flipping the combined effort opened. Uh, it was my first time to ever see Eichler's, um, who I'm going to be honest, like Eichler's music was not necessarily something that I would, you know, automatically be drawn to, um, but uh, seeing uh, them perform it live was really great. Uh fantastic job and i was like i gotta pick up an album um so i picked up eichler's album um he's got a couple out now but this is like not the most recent one but the one right before that uh this one is called what is the name of this one again i'm trying to remember and i think it is called I can't read it. My vision is so bad. It's a great album. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, I can't remember the name of the album. But this is really good. And I'll be honest, like, I knew a couple... Oh, My Checkered Future, that's the name of the album. I knew a couple songs off of this album because I had seen them on compilations or, you know, because I follow Bad Time Music, I'd heard them. And I liked them okay. 
Um, but uh, seeing them live made me love them in a whole different way. And I definitely a fan now. And this one was the one they had in vinyl. Um, so I was super glad to get this one uh, on yellow vinyl. Um, so if you've never checked out Eichler's Live, really recommend it. Also recommend you pick up their album. Now, Half Past Two was the headliner. They came from California. They had never been in my neck of the woods before. Um, and so I definitely wanted to pick something up to support them. So important, guys, when you go to a show to support the bands that you're there to see. Um, so I could not not support Half Past Two. But I already had a T-shirt and, and most of the vinyl that they've released. The only vinyl that I didn't have was this holiday album um, on a, a picture disc. So one side has a picture. The other side is where the music plays from. Um, and this is four different tracks called Holiday by four different bands. And I'm probably not going to remember all of them, but I can tell you for sure that Green Day's Holiday is on here, Vampire Weekend, and Madonna. And I cannot for the life of me at this moment remember what the fourth one was, but they're all really good and really fun. Um, if you get a chance, go watch the music video of them doing the Madonna cover of Holiday. But so... Picked up some Half Past Two, and Half Past Two was amazing, so fantastic. Definitely see them live if you get the opportunity to, and I hope that they come back to Texas sometime before too long. So then I went over to one of my favorite record shops, which is uh, uh, St. Marie Records. I've got a video coming up not too long from now um, that's much more in-depth on St. Marie. I really love that place. Um, while I was making that video, I had to pick up a record, and I picked up jimmy eat world futures i love jimmy eat world i've got a couple of their albums already on vinyl um but i did, had not found futures in the wild yet and i was really glad to do that so this is on a really high quality 180 gram black vinyl um and it is a fantastic album very underrated album i think for jimmy eat world so if you've never heard this one it's a great emo band great album uh bleed american gets a lot of attention as it should that album is flawless but i also recommend this i recommend couple of their albums before bleed american um you know just pick it up pick up the whole lot now i had forgotten that quite some time ago i ordered this album at, well i say quite some time ago several weeks ago i ordered this album from ntx vinyl this next one i'm going to show you um it was one that when they made it available uh for the quality it is for what it is the price was right and i, I bought it it did take a, a little longer than they normally take to get it delivered to my store because NTX Vinyl has three locations and they're all in um, Painted Tree Marketplaces. And there's one not far from me in North Richland Hills. And normally what they say is it's gonna take like eight to 10 days to get the record there for me to pick up. Normally it's much faster than that. Normally it's there within a few days. This time it did take probably eight to 10 days. And so I sort of forgot about it because it was like, at, you know, in the 10 day range, it was in the latter part of, of the schedule. But I'm glad that I ordered it. This is such a good album. So the album I'm talking about is Where the Light Is by John Mayer from Live in Los Angeles. Now, this is a four album box set. And this is from Music on Vinyl. Um, in fact, it says Music on Vinyl, exclusively remastered, 180 gram audio final, audiophile vinyl pressing, uh, one special night featuring three unique performances, uh, acoustic, the John Mayer trio, and full band featured in a 180 gram vinyl. Now, I, um, I'm not going to pull all of these out, um, but there's this really great, uh, this, is, this opens up, you know, I might as well do this part at least. Uh, I probably won't be able to get it back in because that's the way it works for me when I do these videos. But this does open up. You've got four. I was going to say it's a gatefold, but it's not. It's two separate things. So you got this great picture. And then on the back, you've got, ooh, that's, that's, that's not what you do in a video. You don't swatch your microphone aside. Anyway, you got track listings and picture and track listings. And then inside each of these, you've got two LPs just in like a yellow slip case. Um, but guys, this is such a great album. I really, really, really love it. Here's, here's what makes this so great. I, I like John Mayer. Now, John Mayer is one of those dudes who opened his mouth, got himself in trouble, got himself canceled. Um, and then the way he handled it afterwards is he just sort of shut his mouth and disappeared for a while. Made a little bit of music, but didn't, you know, got out of the limelight, got out somewhere private um, and, and tried to deal with all the stuff that was going on in his head. Um, and I don't approve of what he said. But I've been a fan of his music before that. 
And um, that music, especially the before that, really, really still means a lot to me. There's a song on this album called Stop This Train. Uh, it comes from the Continuum album that has been one of the most important songs for me for a long time, especially as my parents are getting older. Uh, my mom's getting older specifically. My dad's already passed. Um, there's a beautiful cover on here of Free Fallen that I absolutely love. And then we get into the John Mayer trio, which is just funky and fun. And there's a cover of Jimmy, Jimi Hendrix on there. And then we've got the traditional John Mayer sound. So the, the full band. So highly recommend this. It's an expensive album, but it is so worth it. And that brings me to my absolute last album that I got this month. Another pre-order that came in the mail. Uh, this is the Aquabats, finally. So a new album from the Aquabats. This is also, it's in kind of a bright, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell very well, but it's in kind of a bright orangey, if I can get in there. There we go. It's in kind of a bright orangey uh, vinyl with some some subtle splatter in there. Um, you know, the Aquabats are always fun, and this is a fun album. Um, I'm not going to say it's my favorite Aquabats album. I uh, Obviously, you know, Fury of the Aquabats is hard to beat, but also I really love Kooky Spooky, which is another one that I own. A lot of people maybe don't love that one as much, but I do. But this is a fun Aquabats album, and my kids love the Aquabats, so fun to kind of finish up the month with some Aquabats. Now, I think I have a, a record arriving tomorrow, but that'll be in the July haul. And uh, so these are my new records for June. And uh, yeah, hope you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my podcast, the podcast videos I'm doing on this channel now. And I'll see you later.